Hi everyone, this is going to be a new YouTube channel on growing purely for exhibition vegetables. I mainly grow for quality purposes, but I do grow some giant vegetables. A lot of people don't like them mixed together, but I do enjoy it. And we're going to go through the full season of me growing through to grow it all exhibition and some giant vegetables. Nothing's going to be covered up. Everything's going to be what I'll show you, what you see where I mix things, what I do, and hopefully it might, might, you might get something. But in the last couple of years, I've been knocking on the door, especially the MBS, Midland Brands Championships, and not too bad in the National. I'm not on the top yet, but I'm slowly getting my way there. I hope you enjoy, and let's go through the season together and see what we can achieve. Thank you very much. Right, everyone. Today we're going to pot up some quality onions. Now these quality onions, I, I obtained the seed from uh, Peter Dawson and da uh, David Lloyd, Mark Lloyd, sorry. And that was kind enough to give me some of their seed to try as I've been after the David Metcalf strain for a long time. And as this is our first episode, we're going to be potting up these quality onions. Now, I've done six trays here of 12. I need about 40 plants altogether. So, we'll try and pick the best on to grow on. But we say the best. We never know what it's going to turn like. As you can see, that's, that's one of the quality onions there. We strip all the dead flags off. I drop them on the floor because I do a, a clean-up after once I've potted up. I mean, I think you know what it's like when everybody's potting up, you get compost everywhere and you name it. Well, that's what happens. Anyway, we'll carry on. Then going into a three and a half inch pot, they've gone from a 12 cell modular tray. Beautiful root system there, can you see? Lovely roots. Right, go straight in there. Right. Now, the mix of compost is clover potting and i do do one of these it's six scoops with a five inch pot six scoops in a five inch pot where is it five inch of clover potting now that goes into this mixing tray and uh from there i had two johnny this now each pot we go up so two liter pot i'll go six scoops three johnny in this and we keep adding more johnnies when we get to the last pot it goes a 50 50 so it'll be six clover six johnny's number two and then we get a 50 50 mix so you got more soil so they get used to the the, the trench them going into but uh like so i'll show you one potted up get one here fill it up not too much a bit in the bottom try and pick your best plant or as you think your best plant pop it up clean it off a bit of the top off there if you don't what you can clean up after you know some people like to clean as they go i do sometimes but uh, try and keep everything clean. That's your main thing. Everything clean. So your onions there. Try and get it. Right. Clean up the dead skins. And you can see there's a bit of mould there. Let's come a bit closer. You see the mould there. That's okay. Just scrape that off. Right. That's just where it's been damp. And every time of water, you, you should always tickle around your plants. It's just a bit like Owen when you're mowing. I mean, you know, round your vegetables on your plot, and then you know you don't let anything set in. But here we go, we're potting it up. Right, I hope we can see this okay. Right, and I can all see right close. You know, I'm doing it on my own, no camera person, so you have to bear with me. Right, now. Pack it in, not too hard, but hard enough. Alright, we're packing it in. Like I say, keeping everything clean. These are canes, I'm a couple of years old now. And 
give them a wipe there's a bit of a um, uh, washing up liquid on there get it a good soak the cloth and get it good rub up and down make sure everything's clean because if you don't it could be a little frips on from last year and you know everything though it's always going to die off see and you you wipe anything what's mold or if you've had any problems oh yeah no problems and you know last year but i like to keep everything clean i wash all my pots you name it i'll wash it and uh it's a chore and half i hate doing it to be honest but it has to be done everything's clean all the pots are washed before i use them all the trays everything has to be clean as possible i know it's going to get dirty again but then what i do once i've used the pots like these pots here as you can see these are all dirty again but what i do i let the compost dry and then once it's dried up a bit i get the paintbrush and then before they go back in the shed i give everything a wipe round you know, try and get all the, the compost bits back out. So they're pretty much clean to use again. You know, you've already sterilised them. There's been no bad plants, I've had no bad ones. So they're ready to use again. Got a clean pot, you know, all ready to use. And it keeps the mess down in the shed as well. Yeah, a lovely onion. Beautiful that is, well potted three inch pot. I'll right, we'll put that there, like I said, a bit of the uh, square to a bit of the uh, liquid seaweed so you've got a trickle of a feed all the time and you can do that or you can use some root stuff i've been using vitalink uh, root stuff but you know anything you use just use it as a trickle feed because for the simple fact is you've got four to six weeks of compost feed in your in your compost before they even start but the trickle feed you know i have been using it full strength you know i think it says on on here uh one in a cap full to four and a half liters of water you can break that down you know um 15 ml share the bottle well you know but i just use a little pinch don't mean yeah i gotta be precise and measure it out but just a little weak solution, you're watering every time, it's just giving them a, that trickle feed, as I call it, trickle. You know, and you just keep giving that trickle feed. There's another one we're cleaning off, dead skins, or the ones that are going to be used, clean a bit of mould off there. We're cleaning off brand new plant again, see that beautiful cracking root system. Right, potting up, I'll give you this one to show. But like I say, you know, when you when you're showing, if there's five places, four places, or three places, aim for them. You know, you can. Everybody aims to win, which you know is what you've got to do, of course. But if you aim, if you aim to win all the time, and just split say, oh, I just want to win, and that's it. You get disappointed when you don't win. If you aim for the top five places, and you win. Winning's a bonus, you get a sense of um, you get hunger. But if you're getting the top five, you think, well, I'm nearly there, and I've only got to tweak a few more things, and I'll be on that top spot. Now, for the last few years, you know, I've been trying, and I've slowly got there. I mean, I ain't beating the big boys yet, but slowly, we're getting there, and we're getting close. I've had a few wins at Morgan, which is my main aim. And uh, we're doing well, we're doing well. So just changing a couple of things here and there, learning a bit more. And uh, hopefully we'll be on the top spot with a few things. But like I say, I'm doing my all growing tutorials, mainly on quality vegetables, but I will be on some of the giants. You know, everything's a learning curve. But we can enjoy it along the way. And like I say, we're potting these quality onions up now. But I will give you a tour a bit later on um, on my setup and the state of play at the moment. It's like a bomb city, but we'll get there. We're getting cleaned up. Make sure you give it a good drink. 
Because if you don't, and you pot it in straight into um, the dry compost, the moisture from the cell, the dry compost will absorb it. So as it's absorbing, it'll be dry within the next day or so. And you don't want that. You want it, you know, I mean, once I get that a good soaking, it depends on the weather, obviously. I should get a week, maybe a fortnight. I mean, it depends. I mean, it, we're in a heated greenhouse, but you've only got air temperature. You're keeping your air temperature at 50 if you can, 48, you know, ideal. But you don't want it too high as a temperature. You just, what's comfortable. And uh, the plants go well, plants go well. You're trying to give them no checks whatsoever. That's your hardest part, is not for them to have a check. But we keep carrying on, potting up. But these are maximum of being a two litre pot, no more. Because it's space, space is a premium in everything, in every growing, so you know, and you've got to give them some space to some degree, otherwise they get overcrowded and they'll start stretching as plants. And then you'll have a too tall a neck and the bulb goes the wrong way, you know. What I mean by the wrong way, it won't get the right shape and you've got to keep them straight as much as we can. But uh, yeah, it's, it's looking lovely at the moment. Stuff's giving well. Right, that's another potted up, you know. Dave met calf strain, there we go. See, beautiful plant there. That one can't quite reach, but I'll push it down. Within a day or so, then we'll probably pop out again and I've got to re-clip. If you can look for your plants once a week and keep on top of them, you're halfway there. They've gained a good, good, nice bulbs. But it depends on the type of bulb you're after, as pear shaped, as round, as a globe sort of shape. So it depends on what shape you're after. The judge, a, it's a on the matter on the shape. It's all getting judged the same way. So if you like rounder bulbs and some like a pear shaped bulb, it, 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 it's your it's your choice. It depends on what you like. But uh, the judge will judge them on both ways, and. Uh, Hopefully you can get the condition, the uniformity, the skin finish. That's your main one, is the skin finish. I still ain't cracked it 100% yet, but hopefully we'll get it right one of the days. <laughs> but it's your skin finish, that's that condition. The main part is the condition. Everything else follows at once that you've got that condition of the right bulb. Right, we'll see you and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.